Hi, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. The topic for this video is your life is your agenda. Ha. Have you noticed how sometimes um, people in your field might try to take over your life, tell you what to do? This might come very often from parents or siblings or from your romantic partner, your husband or your wife. You know, here is the thing, it is that your, your life, your, your karma, your dharma, the direction of your destiny line is something that is so profound and intimate to you. And I want to reinforce this uh, in this video. It is this idea that is very simple. It is that your life is not somebody else's agenda. Your life is your agenda. When you were born, you know, you come into incarnation, you are born with this right for self-determination. It means that you are in control of your life you know this is the ideal picture of course sometimes you're going to have influences of other people and control patterns coming into your field that might rob you from this freedom you know this happens it happens all over the world but in this field of spiritual and personal training and spiritual development it's good to bring back to the core and to the core essence that your life is yours. You were born with the right for self-determination to control your actions, your mind, your beliefs, your thoughts, your emotions, your choices in life, especially your career choices, what you choose to do with, uh, with your existence, with your time. And this is, this is something that if you don't own that, if you don't take control over your own existence and you know, over your own destiny line, then for sure other people will come and start instructing you or telling you what to do. And um, usually that makes you lose track with your essence and what you want and who you are. So my message to you today is, is this is very simple. It is your life is your agenda. And it's important to stand in your power and realize that you have the right to choose. The alignment that you can feel, the alignment with your own spirit, is something that is so sacred and intimate. And so when somebody is trying to control your destiny line and tell you what to do, how you should lead your life, you know, what they are doing there is robbing you from a very basic human right. And receiving the influence from somebody, you know, that's fine, that's okay. There is nothing wrong with that. You can always acknowledge that person's input and be like, I hear you. I can see that you mean good. You have a vision for my life. I will take your advice and tune in and see if what you suggest is in alignment with my spirit and what I'm feeling deep in my heart, deep in my core. Do I resonate? Do I vibrate with what you're suggesting or not? And it is your right to say no. Or yes, the yes or your no is a boundary. If somebody suggests something, then you go like, I don't think that this is for me. I appreciate your input, I appreciate your advice, but what you're suggesting doesn't resonate with me. If this is a friend coming from a friend or coming from a romantic partner and you're firm in your truth, a friendship is spacious enough to be able to accept or to take that. If a friend is trying to control your life and cannot take that rejection, then there's something wrong there. So it's good to understand this. It is that it is your birth right to be in charge of your destiny. And whatever is going on on this planet that somehow might have robbed you 
from the power. The divine freedom to make your own choices. Whatever is going on on this planet that might rob you from that power is a corruption of our social systems. If we go back to the essence, back to the essence, it's you with your spirit in alignment and you in sovereign state making your own choices. This is where we are going back to. If you have energetic autonomy, energetic power to decide, to identify your truth, it's such a massive, powerful state of being. So this is what I want to reinforce in your field today. Your life is your agenda. Nobody else's. I love you.